CBS News, London. STEAM SERIES, CHAMPIONED BY YOUR SOUTHERN CALIFORNIA TOYOTA DEALERS. Well, last week, we brought you the story of a patient wide awake during brain surgery. Today, KCAL News Morning's anchor, Rudabay Shabazi, brings you the story of her surgeon. He makes his living restoring peace to agitated nerves. It's time for this week's STEAM profile, and our focus today is science, engineering, and math. I recently went inside the OR to meet a brain surgeon. In a lot of surgical disciplines, an inch is no big deal. But in Dr. A.J. Ananda's territory... And half a millimeter in one direction or another makes a difference in a patient with a very good outcome and a patient with a very bad outcome. Dr. Ananda is a neurosurgeon at Kaiser Permanente Woodland Hills. His specialty, deep brain stimulation. I put a machine in people's bodies that sends electricity into the brain to change the way they move or perceive the world. Joanne Schmidt has Parkinson's syndrome, her debilitating tremors caused by misfiring neurons. The brain is a very, very complicated electronic circuit. Dr. Ananda relies most on science, engineering, and math. What's more... You need to have some understanding of how electricity works, how it's generated, and how it can be adjusted. Dr. Ananda is acutely aware of the fragility of the brain. For my surgeries, death is nowhere near the worst outcome. They can be really maimed. Precision is everything. That's why his patients remain awake. You want me to hold your hand? The best way to know if we're affecting the part of the brain that we want to affect is the patient will tell me. And show him during a series of tests. We're watching to see, oh, does the tremor go away? Dr. Ananda became a neurosurgeon after having neurosurgery himself. I've had two back surgeries, had a cancer. The rough recoveries in his youth prepared him for the journey ahead. Becoming a neurosurgeon is very difficult. Every miserable experience provided me a little bit more leverage to get over whatever the next challenge in my life would be. His advice to anyone aspiring to rise to the top in a tough field. You have to have some modicum of ambition and then discipline, but ultimately faith that you're going to get there. And for more on STEAM careers, just go to kcal.com slash STEAM.